distributions and features of coral reef ecosystems and mangroves. start with coral reef ecosystems. So what is commonly found? What are the features of coral reef ecosystems? Well, they're made up of things called coral polyps, which don't worry too much about whether you know that word, but it kind of doesn't make sense without it. But the point about coral polyps is that they're tiny animals which contain algae, which is a type of plant. They make calcium carbonate. So that's a feature that you'll need to provide in the exam that coral reef ecosystems contain a lot of calcium carbonate, that's limestone, and that's actually what makes them so hard. Commonly found in coral reefs is high levels of biodiversity, so that's the variety of animals and plants found there, and that they're home to lots of small fish. So if you've seen Finding Nemo, Clownfish, for example. Moving on to what factors that affect the distribution of coral reefs. Number one, you need a very specific temperature range. So you need a minimum of 18 degrees Celsius in order for that coral reef to survive. The optimum temperature is actually 25. It's worth learning that number. In terms of water depth, you need quite shallow seas, so less than 25 meters deep. And why is that? Because it allows sunlight to penetrate. And it's that sunlight that the algae use in their photosynthesis. In terms of pH, and this is why global warming is such a concern, because it's actually reducing the pH of the seas, corals require quite an alkaline pH, so a pH of between 8 and 8.5 to grow. We need salinity, so that means salty water, i.e. seas and oceans. So if we were looking at positive factors which affect the distribution of coral reefs, what do they need? This is a specific temperature, water depth, pH, salinity. But what are the adverse effects which will actually reduce the distribution of coral reef ecosystems? Well, as you might expect, it's human behaviours. So human behaviours that damage coral reefs and limit their distribution I've already touched on one. Burning fossil fuels. Leads to global warming. Sea levels rise. Coral bleaching takes place. That's when all those polyps are released and effectively the coral reef dies and then just general damage by tourist activity or pollution. So what are the features of mangrove ecosystems? Well, first of all, you'll find that they are trees which effectively have one foot in the sea, one foot on land. So they're trees which live on the coastline. You'll find shallow water there, which will definitely influence their distribution. So that shallow water needs to be between 0 0.5 and 2.5 meters deep. You have very characteristic tangled roots and they grow above ground to form things called thickets. The roots are extremely characteristic of mangroves. You'll also have snorkel-like roots that stick into the air and buttress-style roots which provide support. Also common to mangroves are high humidity 
and high temperatures, and I'll talk about those exact values when we look at the distribution of mangroves. So what factors affect the distribution of mangrove ecosystems? Firstly, rainfall. Mangroves require a high level of rainfall. That's anywhere between 1,500 and 3,000 millimetres per year. They need a high temperature, otherwise the mangrove trees won't grow. In terms of water depth, again, we need shallow water between 0 0.5 to 2.5 metres deep. Obviously, the low and high tide will affect that and they can survive the ranges, but on the whole, 0 0.5 to 2.5 metres. They need high levels of humidity between 75% and 80% humidity. So it's making it quite an unpleasant place for us to visit, really, if you think about this. Lots of rain, high humidity. And like the coral reef ecosystem, mangroves require salinity, so salty water. As with coral reef ecosystems, human behaviour can affect the distribution of mangroves. So that includes deforestation, so cutting down of those mangrove trees, and humans use that for timber and building material. You also find that mangroves are commonly removed in order to make space for aquaculture, such as shrimp farming. You find that overfishing causes damage to mangroves and application of pesticides on farmland may wash into mangroves, causing further damage.